Indiana University Athletics boasts a proud history of producing championship teams and some of the best student athletes in the country. Over the last 365 days, the 24 sports programs and hundreds of student athletes who don the cream and crimson have more than lived up to that rich history and tradition. In the fall of 2010, men's soccer returned to glory in the first year of the Todd Yeagley era at Indiana. The Hoosiers won the Big Ten regular season title. Coach Yeagley took Coach of the Year honors. The electrifying Will Bruin led the league in scoring, won Conference Player of the Year, and was one of three finalists for the Herman Trophy. The Hoosiers made the round of 16 in the NCAAs, while Bruin, Rich Balchin, and Andy Adlard achieved their dream of playing professional soccer as they were picked up by MLS teams in January. Mick Lyons women's soccer team scored impressive wins over Iowa in overtime, 18th ranked Ohio State, and Evansville in the season opener. The dynamic Orianica Velazquez Herrera after the season was selected to play for the Colombian national team. Ron Helmer's men's cross country program joined the nation's elite in the fall of 2010. With the seventh place finish at the NCAAs, the Hoosiers shook the cross country world by heading to Madison and defeating cross country Blue Blood in Wisconsin on their home course. Andrew Poor spearheaded the remarkable 2010 effort at the NCAAs by earning All America distinction. The women's cross country program also had a successful fall. Tough as nails, Sarah Pease led the Hoosiers to the top half of the Big Ten while the Cream and Crimson finished fifth at NCAA Regionals. The football program followed a high-powered offense featuring quarterback Ben Chappell and arguably the best receiving and tight end core in the Big Ten to a dramatic overtime victory over Purdue in the bucket game. Chappell, the elusive Tandon Doss and DeMarlo Belcher ended the season amongst the school's all-time leaders in several statistical categories. After the season, Indiana hired Kevin Wilson to guide the football program. As one of the most respected and decorated coordinators in the country, Wilson's arrival, along with the foundation of strong returning players, has given IU fans across the nation plenty of reasons to be optimistic about the future. Amy Robertson's field hockey team placed Brenna Mulyadi and Corey Brodigam on the All Big Ten team, and despite being hampered by injuries, the Hoosiers toppled number eight Louisville in dramatic overtime fashion, along with strong opponents like Iowa, Villanova, Cal Berkeley, and the University of Massachusetts. The volleyball team enjoyed the best season in school history as the Hoosiers reached the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Tournament. The Hoosiers knocked off Tennessee and Miami en route to the program's best ever finish in NCAA Tournament play. First team All-American Ashley Benson thrilled record crowds with her record-setting performances. The wins against perennial powers Penn State, Minnesota were just a few of the highlights from a spectacular year. The men's basketball program scored remarkable home victories against ranked opponents Minnesota and Illinois, while Tom Pritchard and Will Sheehy became YouTube and SportsCenter sensations with two of the best dunks in the history of Assembly Hall. Signing one of the best recruiting classes in the country, Indiana basketball is on the path to returning to its rightful place amongst college basketball's elite. Felicia Leggett Jack's women's basketball program ended the second longest winning streak in the country when the Hoosiers carved up Nebraska at home early in the season to snap their 37-game regular season winning streak. The remarkable Jory Davis led the Big Ten in scoring and ended her remarkable career as one of the all-time leaders in a bevy of statistical categories. Dwayne Goldman's wrestling team produced the 49th and 50th All-Americans in school history as Matt Powles and Ricky Alcala got it done on the mat this winter for the Cream and Crimson. Under the direction of Coach Goldman, the Hoosiers once again logged another top 30 performance at the NCAAs. The women's swimming and diving team continued their dominance over the Big Ten with an overwhelming victory at Councilman Billingsley. For the third straight year, and for the fourth time in five years, the Hoosiers were Big Ten champs. The Cream and Crimson finished 15th at NCAAs, while Ray Luce was named Big Ten Coach of the Year, and diver Laura Ryan won the platform diving event at Big Tens. 13 Hoosier swimmers advanced to NCAAs. The men's program also finished among the nation's elite. Eric Ress was named Big Ten Swimmer of the Year, despite swimming injured in the meet. The Hoosiers finished second in the Big Ten and logged an 18th place finish at NCAAs. In indoor track and field, Ron Helmer's Hoosiers did not disappoint. Derek Druin again won the NCAA title in the high jump. Andy Bear won Big Ten Track Athlete of the Year. Faith Sherrill and Druin won Field Athletes of the Year. All three took the same honors regionally, while Helmer was named Great Lakes Region Coach of the Year. 
The men finished sixth at the NCAAs. With several key components returning in 2012, both programs should be near or at the top of the standings next season. In the spring of 2011, Barry King's women's water polo program put together one of the best years in school history. The staple in the nation's top 20 rankings all season long, the Hoosiers battled through a brutal schedule and emerged as conference champions by beating CWPA rival Michigan in the conference championship game. The Hoosiers advanced to the NCAA tournament and ended up finishing sixth at NCAAs. Michelle Gardner's softball team cracked the nation's top 25 behind the phenomenal pitching of Big Ten Pitcher of the Year Morgan Mello and the clutch hitting of team leader Sarah Olson. The Hoosiers finished second in the Big Ten, won 37 games, and Mello set a Big Ten record with 494 strikeouts. As a result of the remarkable season, the Hoosiers received an at-large berth to the NCAA tournament. In baseball, Tracy Smith's squad logged another 30-win season and several individuals placed their name in the record books. Steady Jared Sabrin ended his remarkable career by setting the school record for career hits. Alex Dickerson tied the career record for home runs by ripping his 47th in the final game of the year. And freshman standouts Dustin DeMuth and Joey Donato were named freshman All-Americans. Lynn Loring's women's tennis program put together another winning season were led by a pair of all Big Ten honorees. Leslie Euro and Evgenia Vertesheva garnered all conference honors yet again, while Hero shined in the NCAA singles tournament, reaching the round of 16 and earning All America distinction. They return in 2012, and the cream and crimson look to be among the conference elite yet again. Steve Peterson's rowing program continued to make strides in the spring of 2011 and just missed qualifying for NCAAs for the first time in school history. Times were better than ever, and freshman Anja Zero and junior Shifumi Terasaka earned all Big Ten honors. Both are back for 2012, and the Hoosiers look poised to have a breakthrough year. Clint Wallman's women's golf program played solid golf at Big Tens and featured one of the best young golfers in the country in Lindsay Game. Game earned all Big Ten honors and a bid to the NCAA Golf Regional. A solid core of returners should put the Hoosiers in position to make significant strides in 2012. Randy Blumendahl's men's tennis team had one of the best seasons in school history as the Hoosiers won a school record 23 matches, finished second in the Big Ten with a 9-1 record. Knocking off ranked team after ranked team, Indiana made the NCAA tournament with Josh McTaggart, Santiago Gruder, and Jeremy Langer leading the way. At men's outdoor track and field, Despite incurring significant injuries, Indiana was able to finish 20th at NCAAs. Eight Hoosiers earned All-America distinction, and Indiana was able to show off Billy Hayes' track as Indiana served as the host school for NCAA regionals. The pieces are clearly in place for a title run in 2012. Ron Helmer's women's track and field program also had a phenomenal season, as Indiana garnered a 23rd place finish at NCAAs. Four Hoosiers were named All-Americans, and pole vaulter Vera Nine Swander was named Big Ten Middle of Honor winner. Mike Mayer's men's golf team continued to be one of the most formidable programs in the Big Ten. Standout David Erty earned all Big Ten distinction, and the Hoosiers parlayed their regular season success into an NCAA regional bid. Strong returners and a solid recruiting class have the Hoosiers poised to make a run at the Big Ten Championship in 2012. 2010-2011 was a remarkable year for IU Athletics. A Big Ten leading six student athletes were named Big Ten Player or Athlete of the Year for their respective sports. Indiana had 38 first team All-America selections. Several teams had some of the best years in their program's histories. The Hoosiers matched the best finish in school history in the Learfield Directors Cup standings and beat Purdue yet again in the Crimson and Gold Cup standings. But with strong coaches, improved facilities, and a bevy of notable returners, it's obvious that for IU Athletics, the best is yet to come.